The audio in this episode is recorded with the Blink 500 system and its included lavalier mic going straight into my iPhone SE. Only a compressor and limiter were used in post-production. Tilder! What is this? This is the Blink 500 wireless audio kit with a smartphone receiver. How much does it cost? Anywhere from $139 to $279 depending if you need just the receiver or a full kit. The receiver comes in either a Lightning or USB-C version. The receiver sits flush with your smartphone making it easy to use with gimbals. It uses the power available from your smartphone. If you have a gimbal that offers wireless charging like this one, you'll be able to power the setup indefinitely. This is a test of the built-in microphone going into my iPhone SE. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is the test of the included lavalier mic going into the Blink 500 going into my iPhone SE. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is the DADW lav mic plugged into the Blink 500 system going into my iPhone SE. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Do I recommend this? If you're a vlogger that uses your smartphone already, definitely yes. If you are a team of filmmakers that use your own smartphones to film narrative films, this is definitely an easier way to capture audio without the need for post-production syncing. Done, roll that intro. What's going on everybody? You're watching Too Long Didn't Read Filmmaker, where the answers comes first, the reasons come last, but we're constantly and always still learning. So today we're going to be talking about whether or not the Saramonic Blink 500 system, specifically the mobile version, is going to be the right solution for you and your overall audio kit. And you'll notice that I'm doing a vlogging style review today because that's where I believe this thing is truly going to excel for vloggers. So let's go through some of the small details real quick. You can buy the receiver on its own. If you already have the Blink 500 system, that receiver is going to cost you $139. If you want a single channel kit, $219. If you want a dual channel kit, $279. And if you do buy the kit, you're going to get the receiver, the transmitter, lavalier mic, and a USB-C charging cable. In terms of the design of the receiver, I love this thing because it just uh, plugs right into your either lightning port or USB-C port. You have to specify which receiver you want. There is no wires at all. So if you had the Rode Wireless Go before, you'd have to get a TRS, a TRS cable. Then you have to figure out where you're going to mount that receiver, especially if you're going to be vlogging with a gimbal. So this eliminates all of that, especially if you're already vlogging with your mobile uh, cell phone. Makes it super, super easy. I also love that they thought about having a little bit of clearance at the lightning port or USB-C port. So if you do have a cell phone case like I am using right now, you're not going to have a problem where you're not going to be able to plug it into that port. Now if you are using like a very, very thick OtterBox style case, then yeah, that could be a problem. You might not be able to do much uh, in terms of plugging it in, you're going to have to remove the case. If um, this thing, the receiver, does not have its own built-in battery, it takes power from your smartphone. So however long your smartphone is going to last, assuming it lasts more than three and a half hours while recording video, is probably how, it's gonna, how long it's going to last because the transmitter seems to last about three and a half hours. That being said, I do kind of wish that the receiver had a pass-through charging port because the Moldaw Mini Me gimbal that I'm specifically using right now, it allows me to plug my phone through the onboard USB port and then I can charge my phone while using the gimbal for many, many hours. This is not necessarily a con though. It's a con for me because I have an older style smartphone. Most of the newer phones these days have wireless charging on the back of it, and this gimbal and some other gimbals are actually capable of doing this whole wireless charging thing. So assuming your phone has this feature, you can, of course, charge the entire setup indefinitely. So again, that's just the pass-through thing. That's a con for me, not necessarily for you if you have a newer phone. You are listening to everything through the wired lavalier mic because I feel that's the best way to get the best audio quality from the Blink 500 system. And while I know this really doesn't mean anything, here's a distance test. All right, guys, it's really, really windy today, but I'm gonna do an immediate distance test. So I have the receiver here. It's on my hip, but I'm gonna face away from the camera just to get the initial distance test. So we got one, one, two, 
three, four, and then we hit five and a half. So if I had cut out at any moment in that time, if I had cut out at any moment in that time, then you know that's what the distance is. So I'm gonna now walk away from it so you can hear me. One and two, three, about here. Around here, we're hitting about 100 feet. So I'm gonna turn around here, talk, 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 and we're gonna continue on. I highly doubt you're gonna be using a mobile phone and doing this kind of a distance test with it, but you never know, some people might. Hitting about 150 feet, talk, 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 and we will continue going. I'm gonna stop around 200 feet because again, there's really no view, especially with a mobile. So what's the bottom line here? Who is the Saramonic mobile system for and do I recommend it? I would have to say I would highly recommend it for filmmakers that are already using their smartphones for mobile content. Vloggers are going to love this because roaming around with your smartphone, this Mojo Mini Me gimbal or whatever mobile gimbal you want to use, and then having this Saramonic wireless set being flush so that you can use your gimbal without having to bother with any wires, that's definitely a huge plus for me. And I could see myself going to NAB next year, assuming I have a much better phone instead of this older phone, and just roaming with this system and being completely content than the system that I used this year. If I was a narrative filmmaker, Apple and Samsung, if you're listening to this, I am highly interested in creating a short film using only mobile phones. And the reason I say this is because phones are getting ridiculously powerful in terms of just what their cameras are capable of doing. Having something that small is definitely a very enticing idea, especially using gimbals like this for mobile. I can definitely get some very nice cinematic shots, pair it up with the film app, Filmic Pro app, and I'll be good to go. But there is one problem. And that one problem is that I need to make sure that I do not want to get the dual channel system because the dual channel systems audio, the way it, the Blink does everything is that it's going to pre-mix both of the mics. And that's a bad thing for us because if I have dialogue that's already pre-mixed, and one person is coughing or does something weird, I don't know, makes a bunch of grunting noises, there's almost no way for me to, there's no way for me to clean it up. So what I would do is if Apple magically gave me four iPhone 11s to make a movie with, I would get four single channel ceremonic systems. And that way, when I, am filming a scene, I'll have four different angles, and if I have up to four characters, then each character can be separately recorded into the phone, and therefore in post I can edit the audio track that way. For people that are already making movies with their phones, I think traditionally you would have to get a field recorder, mic up everybody, you know, do the whole slating thing, and make sure you match up all the audio later. With this, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that, and that's what's enticing about it. And again, for you to be able to film a movie with a mobile phone, having a little gimbal, having this audio kit, again, everything packs into a small little messenger bag. You don't need to get a Pelican case full of gear. That is really enticing to me, and it's definitely a challenge I would love to do if I had all the tools that I would need um, to make a film. But anyways, that being said, I think Saramonic has done an amazing job in marketing this. And I think they actually beat a lot of people to the market by creating this streamlined way of getting audio to your phone. If they ever made like a Saramonic Blink 500 Pro version where it does allow you to split the channels, hands down, that would be something that's going to change a lot of people in terms of mobile movie making. So Saramonic, if that's something that you're thinking about creating a pro line of this, I think you guys will definitely be the first people leading the charge because as far as the sound quality goes, coming from the lav mic into the phone, sounds pretty darn good to me. So 
Anyways, that's it for this week, everybody. If this video has made all the influence in your purchasing decisions, I would truly appreciate it if you check out my Amazon affiliate links down below. Again, this costs nothing extra to you, just gives me a little compensation so I can continue making videos like this for you. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down below. I'll get to them as fast as I can. And until then, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next one.